Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the another episode of Getting Started with C Sharp. I'm Faisal. And today we will continue about talking about code first entity framework. So to begin with, you can get the latest code from this URL and uh, you can also make this repository start so that you can always get updated or get notification when any code committed or also you can subscribe to our youtube channel so that whenever any video gets uploaded you will be notified so let's get started in the last videos we have worked on name address and phone suppose now your student model needs another two properties called email address and uh, city so what will you do so it's very easy just add the two properties I have showed you the shortcut commands before so I'm writing the email and write prop and it will be city okay but the problem is your database now have only these four columns now you're adding these two columns so how can you make your database changed so this changing is called migration so we are talking about migration in this video this is called code first migration to make a project to migrate into the latest code you need to enable the migration and then make the changes in name the thing you want to change give a name and then update the database so it will be like three steps number one enable the migration number two name the changes give maybe give a name to the changes number three update database so let's do it to work on this entity framework you need to have the NuGet package manager console so you will go to the tools then go to package manager and package manager console please check this get initialized don't forget to select the default project as the data access because we are now working on entity framework code first so we'll use enable migration sorry Uh, I forgot the comment let me check first sorry migrations forgot to write the S please check the no no notification it is giving us so it is saying that already it is facing a database already now we want to make a name of the changes because cur our current database now having uh, only four columns we need to add two more columns so we will write add migration now we need to uh, name uh, a change so add properties to the student if you if you go to the solution explorer you can see there is a folder created this is called the migrations folder 
and it has two class automatic created so number one is the initial create number two this is uh, the name we have uh, write as the name of the migration add properties to the student now we need to update it so update database now if you want to see what commands actually is happening from the entity framework to the SQL server you can write hyphen verbs so you can see it is applying the migrations of the table it is the pure SQL command and it is the done so let's go to our SQL Express and go to school DB. Let's go to the design, and you can see the email and CT is automatically created. So it is the very basic steps of the migration. Uh, in the later videos, we will talk about the complex scenarios. So thanks for watching. Love is.